All right, so after day one, um, I had 12 pounds, five ounces, sitting in around 100 some place. It was not good. <laughs> they called them better than I ever thought they were. So what I ended up deciding to do was I knew I needed to get a little bit more on that herring deal, trying to get some of those bites. So I started the morning running a bunch of points looking for herring. Um, there was something I had marked with the riprap that the fish were cruising on in practice. Went up there, fished them for the first hour, just couldn't really get anything going. So I ran over to this next creek that I saw some big ones in in practice. And that's where I took my Z-Man streak. Um, I was actually throwing, this one's the deal. And then I also threw a pearl one. And I was throwing that on my favorite. It's a Rush. It's a 701 medium heavy. Um, this is a 7-3 to 1 Soleus, X Soleus XCS favorite reel. Um, these things are awesome. You could throw these light baits a mile. Um, 12 pound Seaguar uh, Invis X line. And what I do is I throw it out there. I just quick twitch it. Quick twitch. And um, when I was doing that, you can get those fish to react to it. So you'll see the first one I catch, there's a nice one, it was a four pounder, threw up along the edge of the riprap, twitching, 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 and I finally loaded up on it, um, stuck them good, and got my first one in. And that was probably about 8.30 in the morning. So after that, I was like, oh, all right, we've got something clicking. Um, I had not fished that area day one of the tournament, but in day, or in the second day of practice, I found a couple of big ones back there. So. I went, started bouncing around some points, looking, trying to get another one of the streaks. Wasn't going on, so that's when I picked up my Z-Man Zinker Z again. And I skipped it underneath this dock. There's a set of steps that went in there. And I'm not sure if this fish was a post-spawn fish or on an actual bed. But I skipped under there, pick up one to shake my shaky, or a, a wacky worm, and it just loads up. And I hook it, and this sucker goes out to the middle, and it was big like real big I'm fighting it I finally got it in um, if you've been to Lake Murray before you know how strong these largemouth are I've never seen it anywhere else in the country like this um, they must be because they're a blueback herring uh, lake that they're always just swimming they're just pure muscle and I fought this guy for I don't know a minute two minutes three minutes <laughs> it felt forever um, you'll see the full video of it and Finally landed it, had two fish, so I had like a five and a four to start the morning and I was pumped. Um, I fished a bunch more after that, didn't really get much going on, went over to um, this other point, had a bunch of little um, bluebacks on it and they started busting. And I could tell they were uh, bass, I didn't know how big they were and I threw over there with that streaks just twitching across it when I saw one blow up, caught a like 14 and a half inch or so. Another solid keeper, fished that area a little bit longer, caught another one, same size, whatever, they were pound and a half, or was nothing special, but it was got me up to four fish. So at that point, I went another about two hours without a bite, and I was mixing in, fishing those rocky points, and I was fishing docks, and I came up to this one dock, and it just, it looked perfect. It had, a, it, at this point, the sun was up, um, really nice shaded area, and I skipped my wacky worm way under the stock and I'm shaking it and feel the bite hook it comes right out from under the dock perfect like no problem I'm fighting it and I was tight to the dock so it actually went under the boat you'll see me pick the trolling motor up and get my line on the other side so I'm back in contact with this fish fighting it better and all of a sudden it just came it was hot it came jumping did this like side flop thing and pulled my wacky worm out and it was devastating. It was way bigger than the five pounder I caught. It it was six pounds all day. It might have been bigger, but at that point I only had four. Um, I had struggled the first day only having 12 pounds and I knew I needed a big day to have a shot at making day three or cashing a check. So it, it kind of hurt. It took me about a half hour to kind of shake that. Um, I fished around for a while. Didn't really have much going on. Um, on at the end of day one, I had found three, like two pounders on beds. So I ran 10 miles on my bass cat. Like this boat flies, I was doing 76 flying down the lake. Got in there, first one wasn't there. Second one I skipped over to with the wacky worm, caught it. Um, so I had five at that point. I had two good ones and then three, one was like 15 inches. The other two were like 14 and a half. So nothing special there. But at that point I knew where those big ones lived. I caught that four and a five um, earlier in the day. And I lost that giant one. So I'm like, I'm going back to that creek. I, I fired up, ran all the way back there. 
get in there, fished like three sections. I knew there were some fish um, that I saw cruising earlier that day. Didn't catch any of them. Went over to this other dock that had it had a bed on one side with like a two pounder on it. On the other side, there was a cruiser that he would chase my fluke, he would chase my um, zinker there, and he just wouldn't commit to it. And I finally spacked off and just sat there and watched him for a little bit. And it finally went actually back over right like edge of the dock where I couldn't see its bed and I didn't realize it was on one earlier. But I was like, oh, perfect. And I skipped my zinker over there. And as soon as I think hit the bottom, it I hooked it. It comes running. Same thing, it's super strong. Like those Lake Murray bass, it's just unbelievable. I don't know if you've ever got a chance, but if you do, go down there, go catch them. A lot of fun. And I put that one in the boat. It was probably three and a quarter. So I got rid of a 14 incher for that. It was a good upgrade, probably a pound and a half. So at this point I had about 15 minutes left in the day before I had to make that run back. Um, I was boat 12 on day two. So I had the short day, I was doing it three o'clock day one. I was uh, boat 150 or something like that. So I had a long day boat, I was doing it five. So I went back to this other, I bounced off two spots and I went back to this point that I had seen them and they would chase my jerk shad up, but they weren't committing to it earlier. So we got a little bit of wind and I had seen some fish up shallow on this riprap there. So I was throwing up there, throwing up there. And all of a sudden they started, two of them just blew up like big behind the boat. And I was like, oh, I got to quick picked up my uh, streaks, picked up my favorite rush. I'm firing over there. First cast, twitch, twitch, twitch. And I felt him hit it and I set the hook and it just, he must have had a hold of the tail or something and didn't get the hook in him. Uh, so I reel back up again and it, another one blows up. And I don't know if it's the same fish. There's probably a couple of them up there. Throw over there, twitch, twitch, and it just loads up. And at this point, I had probably three minutes before I had to make the run or I was going to not make it back on time. So I'm fighting and I was pulling pretty hard on this fish, but I knew how big it was that after it jumped that I couldn't lose it. I had to make sure I caught this fish to give myself a chance at getting a check. And I have that bass cat, this cougar, it flies. So I was like, I'll push it. I'll make sure I make it back in time. Finally land it. Um, Pull out another 14 and a half incher with this one that was, I don't know what it was, probably three and three quarters maybe. Good one like this. No post ball. Like it was just full of herring. Really healthy fish. Um, so at that point, I made the run back. Got back with like a minute or two to spare and checked in. So at that point, I was like, I got a good, I was thinking 15, maybe 16 pounds. Like going to be the edge of getting a check maybe. So I go up, weigh those fish in, 1711. <laughs> I was a little off. Um, I had not caught enough fish that day to weigh them like I did on day one, trying to figure out which one was which. I knew which, I had a couple small ones, so I didn't take the time to do that. Um, and at that point, I weighed in, I had 30 pounds over the two days. And after day one, I think 50th place, which is the day three cut line, was high 14. So I was like, 30, I should be good to go. And, I ended up being in good shape. I was in 40, 40th place going into day three. And at that point, we had some changing weather conditions coming. So if you want to stay tuned to this, make sure you check out day one and day three. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have questions about any of the rods, reels, what I was doing, Lawrence's, anything like that, put them in the comments below or go over to my Greybuck Fishing Instagram account. You can follow me there. and. If you DM me on there, I will 100% get back. YouTube comments are a little slower sometimes, so um, check it out. Thanks for watching. All these products will be in the description below. Have a good day.
Oh, oh, oh. That's a big one. Oh. Oh. There you go. Number two.
be a bear. Come on, be a bear. Come on, be a warrior.